Good morning, good morning. We'll get started in just a minute. Just one more minute. Our playlist today, we're going to keep it in April and go with that heated yoga strength April um, in our, in my Spotify if you don't already follow me. Um, maybe minus the heat in your circumstance if you're also like me, um, but I promise we'll raise the heat in our own bodies and have a really good time. Um, this is a vinyasa-based practice if this is your first time, so I always take the moment to break down uh, vinyasa or some variations that you can use throughout your practice to help you build strength, stabilize, and really work from where you are starting at because I think that that's important to value where you're at and then move from there. So um, yeah, we're going to get started. There aren't a ton of designated rest or water breaks, so if you need them, please take them. What's always most important is that a uh, publicly led class. So please listen to your bodies. If you need rest, take rest. If you need more, go get more. Um, but check in. Rest if you need to rest. Push when you need to push. And above all else, let's have a good time. So we're going to go ahead and begin this morning in a seated position. So take a moment to just sit up nice and tall. You can close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. Just make yourself comfortable for a moment at the beginning of your practice. Maybe give your shoulders a couple of rolls. Rock from side to side and kind of just establish yourself in a comfortable position. And then come to your breath. So you can start to relax your shoulders. And even while you work on creating this level of relaxation, see if you can also create this level of engagement and also length. So you stretch up tall through the top of your head and relax your shoulders down. Just as we find ease and effort throughout our practice, there is ease and effort in this moment. And in every moment, honestly. We're currently going through a lot of new and challenging circumstances as we wade through these really uncertain times. And I find that our practice really helps to not only push pause and keep our bodies physically strong, I think that's vitally important, However, I also think that it is allowing us to find some peace, facilitates the ability to be able to find ease when ease is necessary, to be able to find effort when effort is necessary, and to really blend the two without pushing ourselves one way or the other. Take another big breath in, lengthen up. And then a big breath out through your mouth, let it go. One more like that, inhale. And then a big exhale, let it go. Inhale and sweep your arms overhead. On your exhale, release your right hand or forearm to the floor and side bend towards the right. Reach and stretch through your left fingertips, press your left hip towards the floor. Inhale, bring yourself all the way through center. On your exhale, take a side bend towards the left, reach and stretch to your right fingertips. See if you can work your right hip towards the floor, really create length down the right side of your body. Inhale, come back through center. One more time, exhale to the right. So you really find that long, achy stretch down the left. And now listen up, roll your left shoulder and rib cage back, and maybe even look up towards the ceiling. This way you say lift it through your chest, breath comes a little fuller. Inhale, back through center, exhale, last time to the left. Relax your shoulder away from your ear. Reach and stretch through your right fingertips. Press your right hip down into the floor and hold your belly in. You're not just 
totally relax with the belly soft. Keep your abs in so you create length and stabilization. Inhale all the way through center and exhale, twist to the right. So right hand behind your back, left hand on the outside of your right thigh. Big breath in to lift your chest. On your exhale, look over your right shoulder. Just waking up your spine. Doesn't have to be a whole bunch of force. Just let it feel good for a moment, though. And inhale, bring yourself back through center and all the way to the left. So left hand behind your back, right hand on the outside of your left thigh. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale as you come back through center. And then exhale, let that hang. Place your hands on your knees. Big breath in, puff your chest forward, pull your shoulders back and down. Exhale, tuck your chin around your shoulders, look for your belly button. Inhale, chest forward, shoulders back and down. Exhale, tuck it around, start to move with your breath. On your inhale, you really backward bend the spine, look up, look back. Exhale, round your shoulders, look for your belly button, press the back of your body towards the back of your mat. Inhale, and then exhale. Add on any little extra sways. You might have a couple of little sticky spots from your new patterns and new routine. So just kind of check in with them there. Maybe some little snap, crackle, pops. Who knows? All right. Let's do this. Lean back and uncross your feet. Take a nice big bend to your knees. We're going to start with warming up the abdominals this morning. So take your hands underneath your knees. We'll just start nice and easy in a boat. Chest up, legs up. A little less intensity. Release your toes or heels to the floor. And if you want even more intensity, then straighten your legs all the way towards the ceiling and release your hands. So anywhere in between that you want to be, focus on your breath and the length that you're creating, right? So lift up through your chest, lift up through your legs, wherever you're at, right? You can always tabletop. We're just gonna hold for five big steady breaths. Four, three, two, and one. Release your feet to the floor, take a breath in. And on your exhale, roll yourself all the way back on your mat. Take your legs with you and send the soles of your feet to the ceiling. So stretch your legs all the way up. Just make sure I'm in frame. So soles your feet towards the ceiling, reach your arms up too, and then start to roll your wrists and your ankles. So wiggle through your fingers a little bit. I like to even shake. That can sometimes just offer a nice little release, but it's up to you. All right, and then nice and slow, release your hand to center. Just alternate between the right and the left. Lower, lift, lower, lift. And just do your best to get your feet stacked right or back over the tops of your hips. Sometimes we want to bring them all the way back up because this really releases the work. But see if you can maintain the work by keeping your feet over your hips at about that 90 degree mark. And then lower to hover just before your back wants to kind of pick up off the mat. Now, if you want more than this, you can lift your head and shoulders and take a light touch on your head alternating between the right and the left. Now, if you want even more than this, we go both legs, down and then up. And you can point your toes or flex your feet. It's completely up to you. Sometimes alternating between the two feels really nice. But as long as you're active through your feet, let's do five more. Four. Three. Two. And last one, stay for a little hold, hold. Press down through your low back, press it down through your belly button. Firm up your quads, squeeze your glutes, big breath in, hold five, four, in your tabletop position. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Flip your right palm up, thumb and pinky finger work down and you'll just rock or sway from side to side. Just kind of warming up your wrist, make sure you spread your fingertips wide. More or less pressure here is totally up to you. And then we'll flip it over. So plant your right palm down, thumb on the outside, fingers towards your knee. And again, you'll just rock or sway. If you want to start to the left with the palm up, you can already get into that. So on the left side, thumb and pinky finger work down. On the right, your palm is flat to the floor. All right, you might want to draw some circles. You might want to rock from back to front, a little side to side. Good, and then left palm comes down same way as the right is, and if there's any last little wrist releases, 
You want to finish out on the right or just take your circles, maybe wiggle through your fingers, stretch out your fingers a little bit. Just making sure the wrists are feeling happy, feeling healthy. Again, if you don't have any weights today for class, don't worry about it. There will be plenty of opportunity for you to build upper body strength. You can offer yourself your own resistance, which honestly is sometimes harder than having the weights because you have to use your head a little bit more. So do what you need, but know that you can practice this no matter what. All right, and then release the left. Give the a few shakes, last little bits of releases that you feel like your body needs in order to be prepared. So we're going to meet back in this tabletop position, hands under shoulders, hips over knees. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, tuck your toes and float your knees off the mat. So you really have to push the floor away so you don't your upper back. And there's a little tuck of your tailbone under. We'll just hold for five. Big steady breaths. Four, three, two. Take an inhale. Exhale up to plank. So step your feet back. Push the floor away. Hold up. Five, four, three, two. Keep your feet where they are. Just bend at the knees. This way you're in a nice little hover. Hold five, four, three, two. Inhale. Exhale, back up to your plank. Hold again for five, four, three, two. One more time. Hold low. Hover tabletop for five. Push the floor away. Four. Soften up the bend in your elbows. Three, two. Breathe in. Exhale, plank. Hold. Last five. Big breaths. Four, three. Push the floor away again. Two. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Establish yourself in a little bit of balance here. Push the floor away from up the front side of your body. This way you can get that nice little stretch down the back side of your body and really find your engaged down dog. So this is that upside down letter V. Know that you can always bend at your knees. Your heels don't necessarily have to touch. Just work them in that general direction and really actively push the floor away. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, come high to your toes. And then start to walk towards the top of your mat as many steps as you like. Look forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and release. Again, inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, let it go. Last one, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Next inhale, sweep, reach, rise. Stand tall, sweep your arms overhead, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands can come through center or by your side as you like. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead, reach up. Exhale, fold forward from your waist. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms and step through your plank. Push the floor away. High plank position, little tuck of your tailbone under. Take a nice big breath in. On your exhale, option to lower your knees. Elbows squeeze in, lower all the way to the floor. Through your vinyasa, inhale, peel up, cobra. Exhale, release to roll down, tuck your toes. Press yourself back and up to down dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Bend your knees, look to the top of your mat, step forward in between your hands. Look forward, find length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep, reach, rise, stand tall. And then exhale through center or by your side. Let's do it again a little faster. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward from your waist. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms and step through to your plank. Actively push the floor away, strong, high plank. Exhale, pull back, find down dog. So you can always move through your vinyasa using your knees and finding cobra to down dog, or you can use that up dog variation. Always note that if you are in up dog, tops of your thighs are off the mat, right? They're not down onto the floor. So make sure you lift your forward length and breathe in. Exhale, fold and release your spine. Inhale, sweep up, reach up, big breath. And then exhale, release your arms. Again, inhale, sweep your arms high. Exhale, fold forward from your waist. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga, plant and flow. Elbows in, up dog or cobra. Exhale, send it back, down dog. Full breath in, big breath out. One last one, bend your knees, look to the top of your mat, travel to the top. Look forward, halfway lift. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, sweep, reach, rise, stand tall. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, chaturanga, plant and flow. Elbows in. Up dog or your cobra. Send it back down dog. Big breath reset. Let it go. Bend your knees up to the top of your mat. Travel to the top step. Hop or walk. Look forward. Find length. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Sweep up. Reach up. Big breath. Find 
standing. Exhale, hands come through center. Inhale, sweep your arms high. Exhale, drop your hips low, find chair. Shift your body's weight back, pull your belly in. Keep your spine nice and straight. You can reach your arms forward, goal post your elbows, and bring your hands to the center of your chest. Keep your abs in nice and strong. Focus on your breath and just find a nice little pulse here. So just start with your pulses. Press back through your hips. Keep your chest lifted. Focus on your breath. Let's help you out, YouTube. How about it? Get you a little bit of a better shot. Find your pulse. We're here nice and strong. Let's go. We got five, four, three. Still cut off. Bummer. Two. Hold it. Big breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga, plant as you flow. Elbows in close, up dog or your cobra. Exhale, send it back, find down dog. Big breath in, big breath out. All right, let's do this. Bend your knees, look to the top of your mat, travel to the top, step, hop, or walk. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, grab onto your weights, let's meet in chair. So we're gonna start in that chair position. Roll your chest back. Belly in nice and strong. I'll just do there. Okay, we're gonna start with a front, word, uh, front raise. So shift your body's weight back to your heels, roll your shoulders back, firm up your belly flat. Just hovers above your quads, or you can take both at the same time. So we're just gonna start right here. Make sure that you're not death gripping your weights, right? It happens really efficiently. Chest nice and tall, abs and strong. Shift your body's weight back, focus on your breath. Lift, and then lower, lift, and lower. So just bringing it up right about to the shoulder width and then down to hover so your hands hover off your hips. Make sure you really push your body's weight back. You can easily peek down and see all 10 toes. Abs are firm to support you. And we'll go for four, three. Listen up. In two, you'll hold it right out in front of your shoulder width height. Perfect. Hold it. Now flip your palms up towards the ceiling and now flip them down. Bring them up. Flip them down. So you're just finding that external rotation through your shoulders, right? Not through the wrists. Let the whole arm move right from the shoulder joint. Big breaths. Just working those tiny little muscles, establishing strength, balancing the front and back side of your body. Big breaths. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Keep your palms up. Rotate all the way out. And then back through center. Out, center. Now, can you sit lower? Let's distract you from your shoulders, right? 10, open and close. Nine, hold your abs in. Eight, seven, big breath. Six, stay low for five, four, three, two. Good, last one. Open, back to center. Big breath in, inhale, find chair. Exhale, weights into your chest, forward fold. Release your weights, inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga, plant and flow. Elbows in close, up dog or your cobra. Exhale as you send it back to your down dog. Big breath, reset. Let it go. All right, bend your knees, look to the top of your mat. Step forward, hopper step, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold, inhale, grab onto your weights. Chest up, roll back. Belly in. Okay. Weights hover off your thighs. One more time. Keep your chest nice and tall. We'll bring them up. One at a time or both of the same. And then back down. Up. And then back down. Okay. We're going to add a little bit extra movement in three, two, and then here we go. Up, lower, lift, and then all the way to standing high. And then bring them low to hover. There we go. Lift and lower, lift. And hover. Let's go up. So nice little chair squats. Keep your feet hip width distance or less. Tight squeeze at the top, lower to hover. Lift, hover, lift, hover. Let's do eight, seven, six, five. Big breaths. We got four, three, two. Last one, keep your weights up there, but sink your hips low. Flip your palms up, open out, and then back. Open, close. Big steady breaths. We got eight, seven, six, 
five. Come on, four more. Three. Last two. Woo. Last one, open, close, and in. Inhale, find chair. Reach up. Exhale, weights into your chest and step your left, right foot back, excuse me. So stretch forward, square your hips, nice and strong. Lean forward and reach your arms all the way back for a tricep kickback. Squeeze back at your shoulder blades, pull your shoulders away from your ears, full range of motion all the way to the shoulder, all the way back, shoulder, back, shoulder, back. So make sure you're really strong through your right leg, high on your right toes, as high as you can. Stretch forward from the top of your head and pull your low belly in. Now, if you want even more than this, if this is like, no girl, I need some more, then we're gonna bring it. Here we go, up, into warrior three, and your tricep kickback. So you really drive through your right leg towards the back of your mat, press down through your left foot, squeeze your shoulder blades together, focus on your breath. You can be here, you can be in your lunge, or you can always drop down to a knee. Take your choice, we're here for eight more. Eight, seven, six, five more, four, three, two, last one, listen up, hold it back, pulse up, eight, seven, six, five, you have four, three, two, and one, inhale to high crescent, reach up, exhale, weights into your chest, one more, inhale, high crescent, exhale, weights in, all right, all ten toes pointing forward, square your shoulders, square your hips, we're going to start with the legs, so back knee lowers to hover, and then drive, Lower and lift. Keep your chest lifted. Roll your shoulders back. Focus on your breath. So with the exhale, drive all the way through. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. Big squeeze at the top. We're going to add a hammer curl. Nice and easy. Takes you down. Bring it up. All right. Simple but not easy. Right? Simple does not always indicate easy. Sometimes it indicates hard. So keep it strong. Doesn't take anything Overly complicated to build the body's strength. Focus on your breath. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five more. Start to notice that space you're creating through your hip flexor. Four, three, whew, two. Last one. We got to hold it low. Let's pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Inhale, find high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Spin your back heel down. Take a little W in your arms. Give your shoulders a couple of rolls. So bend deeply into your left knee. Sink your hips nice and low. Lift your chest. Your elbows nice and wide, and you'll dip, dip to the back, dip, dip to the front. So keep your elbows wide. Keep your shoulders stacked right on tops of your hips. And just really efficient ways of waking up your inner thighs is imagine you're pulling your heels towards each other. That'll also keep you from slipping. Yeah, and that sensation of kind of your feet slipping out from underneath you in these postures is all, a lot of it has to do with your inner thigh strength. So you got to use your feet and you got to use your inner thighs. Four more. Three. In two. Stay with me. Here. And then all the way to the front. Put your elbow on your inner thigh. One or two weights in your left hand. Drive down through your right foot. Full range of motion. Just a nice full range bicep curl. Hold your abs in. Again, you gotta work through your inner thighs here. Chest stays tall. Big steady breaths. So establishing strength, but you're also really working to open up your hips here. So you gotta sink low, get your hips low, and start to find that little ache in your hips. You're like, oh, hello, good morning, how are we? Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Bring it all the way up and just come halfway down. Pulse up. Go eight, seven, six, five. We have four, three, two, and one. Drive through your front leg. Listen up. Front toes in. Back to heel out. Bend deeply into your right leg. So bend deeply into your right leg. Elbows nice and wide. Let's hit it on the other side. Dip. Dip to the back. Dip. Dip to the front. So right away into that side to side. I'm just going to take it all the way around the world today. Elbows nice and close. Focus on your breath. Focus on your strength. Good. Four more. 
Press down through all 10 toes, three. Nice and strong, two. And then there we go. To the front, hold it. Elbow on your inner thigh. Opposite hand can come to your hip, one or two weights in your right hand this time. Nice and open. Big, strong breath. Keep your chest tall, pull your belly in, find your focus. Give your hips a little pushback. Maybe get your hips to sink a little bit lower. Sometimes you're hiding. Like, I am not, I am totally guilty of hiding. So, you get to see it right there, right? Let your hips sink open. Let your body open at its own rate. But give it a little push sometimes. Let's go four more here. Four, three, two. And then last one, you bring it up halfway down. Pulse up just for eight, seven, six, five. You got four, three, two, and one weights into your chest. Drive it up, spin your heels in, toes out, big breath, find star. Exhale, lower, goddess. Inhale, star, reach it up. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, star. Exhale, bring it down. Weights all the way down, whoa, lift your chest. <laughs> Sink your hips nice and low, pull your knees wide. Get your shoulders right over the tops of your hips and just start with the pulse. So take a moment to open things up a little bit, draw your shoulders back, keep your chest lifted, focus on your breath. Yeah, just starting here. Four more pulses. Four, three, two. Inhale, star. Exhale, bring it all the way down. Flip your palms up. I'm just going to take a cross. So we'll go right over left, left over right. One in front of the other. Chest nice and tall. Right, so you can breathe. Push your hips forward. Focus on what you want. Knees wide. Hips slow. Breath full. Good. Keep it pushing. Right to left, left to right. Let's go four more. Four, make sure you hold your abs in for three, two. Last one, right to left, left to right, and then open out to the side and pulse out. Make sure you really pull the front rib heads down towards your pelvic bones here, so you're not dipping into the low back. Let's pulse out for eight, sit lower, seven, six, five, four. You have three, two, and one. Inhale, find star. Exhale, weights into your chest, pivot your feet forward, bend at your knees, release your weights, and give yourself a little stretch. Stretch the top of your head down, grab onto your heels, maybe your toes, let it dangle. Little wiggles and shakes. All right. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, soften up the bend in your knees. Grab onto your weights, set them at the top of your mat. Plant your palms and find a high plank. Stack your shoulders right over the tops of your wrists. Push the floor wet. Open up your feet about your elbows or even at your hands. You also have the option to drop down to a knee and tap from here. We're going to tap on for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one right to left. We meet in your plank. Hold it. Big breath in. Exhale, walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Little tap. Walk them all the way out to your plank. Listen up all the way down forearm plank. All the way back up high plank. Walk back to your toes. Maybe a tap. Legs can always bend as you like. High plank, low plank, high plank. Tap for your toes. Let's do eight. High to low. Walk it back. Tap. Go for seven. Come on. Down. High. Walk it back. Let's go six. Bring it down, all the way back up. Nice and controlled, as controlled as you can. Walk it out, bring it down, all the way back up. Walk it back. Five, come on. Walk it through, four more. Last three. High to low. Woo. Two more. Here we go. Bring it down. Back up. Walk it through. Last one. We meet in a forearm plank hold. Here it is. Find your forearm plank hold. Start to pedal at your knees. Let's go eight. Big finish. Seven. Come on. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Knees down. Give yourself a little press back. You can push back to child's pose or take a breath. Maybe grab a sip. We're going to set up for some push-ups. So 
We're going to go wide style push up arms, hands rather, or wider than your shoulder width. Now, you can take these from your knees or from your feet. It's completely up to you. We're going to hit eight of them though. So, whatever you do, set your push up up on a high plank. So, open up your hands wide. For me, I go like a little wider than mat width distance, but it might be a little bit different for everyone. Just do your best to get outside your shoulder width. Pop up onto your toes and just set yourself up. So, your shoulders are right in between your hands, and then if you lower your knees, you're in the perfect position. Okay, so here we go. We go for eight. Nice and controlled. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down. Press it back. Take a breath. And we're going to go right into the second set, just right away. So let's do it. Walk it up. Same thing. Nice and simple. Very effective. Go get it. Go for eight, seven, six, five. You really have to hold your abs in while you're moving. So you stabilize the midline of your body as you push. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. Push the floor away, knees down. Take a breath, grab a sip, take a moment. We're going to meet back in our down dog in three. So nice, big, steady breaths. Two more. All right, let's do this. Downward facing dog. On your belly. Big breath in, reset. Big breath out, let it go. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Look to the top of your mat, travel to the top. Step, hop, or walk. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Grab onto your weights, meet in your chair. Roll your shoulders back, firm up your belly, focus on your breath. Nice and strong, you'll take your weights out in front of you again, lift your chest, roll your shoulders back, abs in nice and strong. You'll start, lift and lower, right here. Big steady breaths, lift and lower. Keep your chest nice and tall, abs in strong. Good, keep it moving. All right, for the sake of not doing it to your back, my back to you the whole time. I'm just going to flip around this way and this way you can have a little bit of a better view. So we're going to keep it moving and let's add the legs in three, two, here we go. Hover and then lift to squeeze lower and lift. So push your hips back, little squeeze. So it's not super low, right? Doesn't have to be a whole bunch. Notice if your hands really just drop onto your knees so you can hover them off. Squeeze your glutes together at the top. Let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Last one. Bring it up. Sit low. Keep your weights up. Palms up. Open out. And then close. Open. Squeeze. Close. Eight, seven, six, Five, four more, three, last two, and then last one, open back in. Listen up, inhale, chair. Exhale, weights come through center, left foot steps back. Arms come all the way back, setting up for your tricep kick back, lean forward, and then full range all the way to the shoulder, all the way back. Shoulder, back, shoulder, Back, right, so stretch the top of your head forward, get a nice long line from your heel to the top of your head, hold your abs in, supporting the back side of your body, squeeze your shoulder blades together like your life depends on it, right, come on, maybe it does, right, standing taller, breathing easier, feeling amazing, that's part of our life, certainly depends on it here, come on, option to come up into your warrior three if you're not already there, take that level of balance, if you did it on one side, do it on the other, we finish with eight, Big breath, seven, come on, six, five, and we'll set up for our lunge in four, three, two, and one, weights in, inhale, high crescent, reset, exhale, weights into your chest, all ten toes pointing forward, you can lengthen out your lunge a little bit if you need to, here we go, lower, and then drive, down, and up, keep your chest nice and tall, focus on your breath. Squeeze at the top, hover, and then lift and start to notice the space that you're creating in your left hip and hip flexor. Building some strength in your hamstrings, working your inner thighs. 
And then when you're ready, add that hammer curl all the way down, all the way up. Make sure you're not swinging at the arms. Everything's happening with control. Lower and lift, lift and lower. You got big breaths here. Chest back, nice and strong. Down and up. Let's go for eight. Big push, seven, six. Find that burn, five, four, woo, three, two, and one. Stay low, pulse, eight, seven, six, five. Big breaths, four, three, two. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two, back heel spins down. Little W in your arms. You can give your shoulders a couple of rolls. As you do, make sure you're standing up your right foot, heel, right underneath your knee, shoulders a couple of rolls. Okay. So we're back and do it on this. Good. So keep your elbows wide, hold your abs in, focus on your breath. <sighs> Strong and steady. Just working through your obliques a little bit, right? Yeah, hold your abs in, dip it out. We're going to finish with four. This is three. Stay nice and low. Two. We're going to set up for that bicep curl. A little different, though. So lean into your right leg. Elbow on your inner thigh. One or two. We'll come all the way down, but just halfway up this time. So all the way down. Halfway. Down. Halfway. Fire up your left leg. Make it strong. Down. Halfway. Down. Halfway. Find your breath. Down. Halfway. Down. Halfway. Keep going. Down. Halfway. Down. Halfway. Eight. Big breaths. Seven. Come on. Six, find it. Five, push. You have four, three, two. Hold it halfway, pulse it down. Just little pulses down. Eight, seven, six, five. You have four, three, two, and one. Weights into your chest, drive through your front leg. Heels in, bend deeply into your left leg one more time. So right toes pull to the upper right hand corner of your room. Sink your hips nice and low, chest up. Here we go, let's dip. Dip to the back, dip, dip to the front. So you get a little extra on either side. Make sure you're breathing. It's really easy to hold your breath. Focus. Four more. Three, and we'll take that all the way down. Halfway up variation of your bicep curl, two. And then last one to the back, hold to the front. Elbow on your inner thigh, palm up all the way down, just halfway up. Down, halfway, down, halfway. We're back in it, so find your rhythm with your breath. Drive down through your right pinky toe. Firm up your right quad. See if you can get your hips to sink forward. A little bit down. Nice, strong breath, just halfway. Let's go eight, seven, six. We got five more here. Four, three, two, last one, halfway up, pulse down. Eight, seven, six, five. You have four, three, two, and one. Weights in, drive up, both heels in, toes out, big breath, find star. Fill up, inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, star. Exhale, bring it low. One more, inhale, star. Exhale, all the way down. Float your weights. Hover them off your inner thighs. Pull your chest up. Start to tap from right to left, left to right. Just across your body. Tap, tap. Keep your shoulders square. Push your hips forward. Maybe sit lower. You know, who knows? Might have something hiding in there, so go find it. Start to get to know how incredibly capable your body is. It's magical. Literally. So incredibly magical. Four more. Three, two, last one, tap, tap, and then find star, reach up. Exhale, weights into your chest, pivot your feet forward, bend to your knees, and then release to take a stretch. Stretch the top of your head down, find that little bit of space, a couple of wiggles or shakes. Okay, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, grab onto your weights, set them back towards the top of your mat, plant your palms, meet in your plank. Open up your feet, push the floor away from you. Excuse me, bring your feet nice and close. And you'll just start to tap out with the left foot. Tap out to the left, to the left, to the left. Let's go for four, three, two. Last one, go right, out to the right. Tap, tap, right, 
Four more. Three, two, last one. Alternate left to right, right to left. Tap eight, seven, six, five more. Four, three, last two. And then last one, right to left. Open up your feet really wide and walk your hands. Push your hips back, excuse me. Wide-legged down dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, walk your hands all the way back towards your feet. Let it hang for a moment. Take a breath. Listen up. Turn your toes out slightly. And then inhale. Peel yourself all the way up. So feet are a little wider than your hips. A little turn out of your toes. Stand up nice and tall. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more big breath in. Big breath out. All right, let's set up for a few rounds of squats. So feet a little wider, maybe mat with distance, maybe a little bit less. Here we go. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale lower, exhale lift. So you'll drive your hips back, squeeze your glutes forward at the top. Squeeze, press back, squeeze. Use your chest, lift. So chest is lifted, this way you can breathe. But also you're getting some nice articulation through your spine giving space for your hips to move and articulate so you can release the tension and pulling from the low back. That happens so much when we sit. So think about really driving your hips back, get your hips to go low, squeeze your glutes forward, waking up your glutes at the top. Let's do four more. Three, two, last one, hold it low, pulse for five, four, three, two, hold it. Reach your arms forward, push your hips back, find your breath. Yep, see if you can reach your arms even more forward. Get your chest to lower, but drive your hips back. Hold five, four, three, two. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, release your hands to the floor. To the floor. Walk yourself into a down dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, press yourself all the way forward. Find plank. Push the floor away nice and strong. High to your toes. Make sure you got a nice long plank. Hold five, four, three, two. Take an inhale, exhale. Just bend at the knees and then straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. So do your best to keep your shoulders and hips in the same line. You just bend at your knees so they hover off the mat like a little floating tabletop and then press them back up. Let's do 10 of them. 10, nine, eight. Look a little bit forward. Seven, six, five, Four, big breath, three, two, last one, hold it low, just a hold, press the floor away, firm up your belly, little tuck your tailbone under, five, four, three, two, and one knees down. Give yourself all the way forward and down onto your belly. So lower yourself all the way down to your belly, take a moment to establish yourself on the floor, and we're going to do a little work from here. So all the way on your belly, hands underneath your shoulders. At first, zip your leg, focus on your breath. Now listen up, inhale. Keep your upper body, your lower body connected to the floor. Exhale, just float your hands off the mat. So see if you can lift your hands, lift your chest, and look up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze your glutes. Hold five, four, three, two, and release. Hands stand underneath your shoulders, but this time open up your feet a little wider. So from your shoulders, slide your hands back towards the bottom of your rib cage. So as you inhale, you'll lift and peel your chest off the floor all the way till right before your pelvic bones want to lift. And then exhale, you'll release and roll down. So a little high cobra rolls. Inhale, peel, roll up. You'll press into the hands a little bit. Exhale, release. Control your descent down. Inhale, push the floor away. Use the strength of your arms. Exhale, nice and slow. Release and lower with control. Let's do four. Release. Three, peel up. Take it slow. Lower. Two. Last one, we lift and stay. Lift, stay. Push down to the tops of your feet. Squeeze your glutes. See if you can look all the way towards the ceiling. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Exhale, lower. Hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, press back to down dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, press forward to find plank. Exhale, slow, controlled descent to your belly. Uncurl your toes 
And you can make a little pillow with your hands. So relax your upper body and focus on your lower body. Lift your legs high. And then release to lower. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Let's do 10. Yeah. Nine. Right? Got to do the work. Eight. Seven. Six. Five more. Four. Three. Two more. Last one, keep your legs lifted, stretch back, start to pulse your legs together. Good, little pulses of your legs. You can stay round, down on the floor for now with your upper body for five, four, three, keep your legs lifted, two, keep your legs lifted, now lift your chest. On your inhale, reach your arms forward, stretch your legs, squeeze your legs together, exhale, legs wide, arms wide. Inhale, lengthen, reach, exhale, wide. Good, 10, reach, arms reach long, legs stretch together, exhale, wide. 10, squeeze, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold long, reach, stretch through your fingertips, stretch through your toes, so you can press your inner thighs together. Hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, lift higher, four, three, two, and one. There it is, let it go. Look over your left shoulder, take a breath. Inhale and switch, look over your right shoulder. Look forward, plant your palms underneath your shoulders. Find up dog or cobra, take your choice. Exhale, press back to down dog. Look forward towards the top of your mat, step, hop or walk all the way to a seat. Let's sit up. Okay, we're gonna finish with abs. We're here, let's do it. Okay, nice big bend in your knees, lift your chest. Chest up, big breath. Exhale, guide yourself all the way back, lay back. All right, let's do this. You'll take weights into either hand. Table top your legs, so knees are right over the tops of your hips and hands over your shoulders. On your inhale, your left arm and right leg will go long. Exhale, come back through center. Same thing, left arm, right leg, center. Left arm, right leg, center. Go, four, three, Two, and the last one, let's take it. Right arm, left leg, center. Right arm, left leg, center. I'm hitting the plan. Right arm, left leg. Big breath, so really stabilize through the right leg and the left arm in this case. Keep them hovered over the shoulder and over the knee, and then you're just finding motion. We'll do two more here, and then we'll go right to left. There it is, okay, left arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg, go. Left arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg. Keep moving right to left and left to right. So if you have any tenderness in your shoulders, you can do this without the weight, and it'll take any unnecessary pressure out of the shoulders and any potential injury or re-injury if you're working through them. I promise you will still feel the burn in your ass. Oh yeah. Big breaths. Let's do five more, five. Four, last three, two, and then last one, finish it off, left to right, right to left, and then bring it in. Release your weight, put your feet on the floor. You can even give yourself a little squeeze, a little release of the low back. And then bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees go wide. Grab onto a weight, send it out in front of you, and peel your shoulder blades off the mat. Start to pulse up. So just press the soles of your feet together. Let your knees go wide. Now listen up. If your knees drop really low and you're just all the way into your flexibility, that's awesome. But see if you can find a little bit more strength. So press into the soles of your feet. Bring your knees up just a little bit higher. This will allow you to squeeze your glutes and wake up your inner thighs while you work that base layer of your abs. So making your abdominals a little closer to your body so you get Flat abs, that's what I was looking for. And stabilize the spine. So if you want more, we're gonna keep pulsing, but you can tip your toes down, lift your heels, float them off the mat. Let's do 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven. You have six, five, four, three, two. You'll see, lift and hold it. Lift your legs and then set them back down. Pick them up, tap them down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Nice big breaths. Shoulder blades are lifted, 
Stay focused. Tell yourself you're a freaking rock star. You got this. You want this, so you get this. Let's do 10 more, 10. Nine, just the legs in motion for eight. Seven, six, five more big breaths, four. Three, and we'll stay lifted, you have two. Last one, keep it lifted, start to pulse up. Little pulses towards your heels, press your knees wide, press the soles of your feet together, nice and strong, let's do 10. Nine, eight, seven, you have six, five, Four, three, two, hold it. Listen up. Toes tap, shoulder blades release. Feet lift, chest lifts. There we go. Big breaths. Nine, eight, seven. Come on. Six. Hit it. Five, four more. Three, two. Last one. Hold it up there. Set your feet down. Pulse up again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, you have four, three, two, just hold it for 10. This is it. Nine, eight, seven, you have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Give your knees a little bit of a squeeze. Hold yourself in close, little rock, little sway. And then rock and roll yourself all the way up to a seat. Come sitting up. You can sit tall. Keep your chest nice and lifted. You can softly tap at your toes or keep your legs. Long out in front of you. We're going to start right here by stretching your leg long and then back to center. Leg long, back to center. So go left to right and right to left. Keep your chest nice and tall, right? If you ever need to place your hands on the floor, just do it. No big deal. You need to pause, pause, right? Take what you need. Big steady breaths. My job is to help you press up against your edges, but only you know where they are. So let's go get them. Four more. Three. Two. And then the last one, right to left. Now pull your right knee in, squeeze in. Excuse me, pull your left knee in, squeeze in, and then release your right foot and come all the way down to the floor, half when you're moving. Pull your left knee towards your shoulder, relax your shoulders away from your ears, squeeze yourself in nice and close. Inhale, another big breath, exhale, straighten your right and left leg all the way towards the ceiling, grab above or below your knee, just not directly behind the knee joint, and pull your leg in for reclined splits. So you can flex your foot or point, and you can articulate through the both of them. Sometimes it's a nice little stretch. You can like sickle through your ankle a little. So just kind of finding that movement. This releases the hamstrings, which will in turn release the low back, which Take a nice big breath in, and then on your exhale, sit yourself up all the way up. Go all the way up. Now, if there's any tenderness in your left knee, you'll scale, then heel comes to your hip crease, pinky toe towards your hip crease, and then you fold yourself forward. So flex your right foot towards you. Shift and push your hips back. And lengthen forward. Couple more breaths here. Let it feel good. Like notice how incredible you feel your low back starting to release that tension in your hip. You feel it dull and achy, start to get really kind of obsessive about how you can make your body feel better, amazing, stronger, more capable. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, take your left heel on the outside of your right leg, left hand behind your back, lift your right arm high and push your left leg out of the way. So you're just using it as a little bit of leverage to look over your left shoulder. So you get a nice cervical to lumbar twist. Make sure you take your chin with you. Look all the way over your shoulder twist. And then nice and slow unwinding. You keep your hands here. If you need that little extra balance, you can also keep a foot on the floor and tap from here. So you got options. From Chest is nice and tall. Breath is full. 
Abs are gonna be on fire and it hurts so good. Five, four, in three, this time your right knee will come forward, two, and then right knee comes in, squeeze in, release your left leg to the floor, roll down. Squeeze your left knee, or excuse me, your right knee towards your shoulder, shoulders away from your ears. Come back to those big, deep belly breaths. See if you can find some space in your hip here on the right. Inhale, another big breath. Exhale, send your right leg all the way towards the ceiling. Grab above or below your knee joint. So always just protecting that. And then grab on and pull in for reclined splits. So again, toes can point or feet can flex. Do what you need. Kind of circle through your ankle a little bit. You might find a little rotation that feels good. One more big breath in, and then exhale. Take your right heel to your left hip crease this time. Let your le right knee fall open. It's okay if it slips. Let it slip. Reach your arms overhead. Inhale, a big breath. And on your exhale, sit all the way up. All the way up. Again, same thing on this side. Might be different than the previous side. So, foot either inner thigh if the knee feels tender or tight, and then up to your left hip crease, pinky toe rounds forward. So eventually the sole of your foot gets flat to the floor. So you get this really nice external rotation where the knee rolls down and the sole of your foot comes towards the ceiling. Although, okay, if it doesn't do that today, right, we're just working in that general direction. Sit up tall, take your option, inner thigh, or this half lotus, and then you fold forward, create some length. Let it feel good. Nice and slow, walk yourself all the way up. Take your right foot on the outside of your left hip, right, left hand, right hand behind your back, left elbow comes on the outside of your right leg, look over your right shoulder and twist. Inhale nice and slow, come back through center. Stretch your legs nice and long, inhale, sweep your arms overhead. And then exhale, lean forward over your legs. Inhale, hold your chest above your thighs. Exhale, peel yourself all the way back and lay back. Take up some space, close your eyes, settle in and give yourself a little love, a little bit of gratitude. You can stay in that resting position for as long as you got time for, as long as you like. Give yourself a little bit of love for working hard and giving yourself your best effort. Um, we worked good today. So hopefully you worked up a little bit of a sweat and you feel really good and strong to give yourself to the rest of your day. So thank you so much for joining me live or later. I'm into it and I love it. Um, thank you guys again. I'll see you all very, very soon. If you're coming back for noon, I'll be here. Bye guys.